Welcome, everybody. We are live. I have a great guest for us today. So happy that he could spend some time. He's a great mind, one of the leading researchers actually doing real science, doing more than his fair share of the legwork, get, getting to the bottom of what of the claims out there are legit, where are people going down the wrong paths. It's not going to be agreed to by everybody. I'm not even sure if I agree, but he's definitely done a lot of thinking, and we're so thankful to have you with us. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. McCarron, for joining us. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you, Tim? I'm doing well. It's uh, really great. I've been looking forward to having you on. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I think you're a great mind, and we're lucky to have you uh, trying to get to the bottom of what's what's happening to enlighten people and to get people to strategize in the right direction. So um, I'm, I've got a number of questions. Let's just dive in. Um, I, I wanted to start with, um, well, maybe we should tell people about your background just because it's it's pertinent here. You've had a whole career of doing scientific experimentation, including mm -hmm. with primates. Is that correct? Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I'm a specialist in disease modeling in non-human primates. This, you know, my passion was more um, treatment for children but I had to spend a lot of time doing neurodegenerative modeling and um, analysis uh, it's where it's where the grants are I'm afraid uh, children don't children don't raise that much money but old old people to squeeze a, an extra few years out of there's a there's a ton of money waiting there so um, yeah I'm familiar with um, Things like Parkinson's and movement disorders and uh, surgical interventions. Um, I've used most of the modern techniques for probing the brain uh, in awake behaving uh, animals. And um, there's a, you know, th there's been some overlap with respect to SARS CoV 2. And because of the terrible abuse of science in the last couple of years i felt sort of compelled to uh, speak up and that's been from the beginning i had an early encounter with sars um in the december of uh, 2019 i'd been to korea uh, at a city called daegu that was the heart of the super spreader event by the shinchioji cult uh, hundreds of thousands of people were infected in the city um, it got me, I realized that uh, that wasn't a regular flu. There was uh, a very neuroinvasive component of it that I tried to alert people to, very much so from the beginning as people were just talking about it being a uh, respiratory virus. It's not. Um, we've come to understand in, one could argue, explicit detail the pathophysiological mechanisms of SARS-CoV-2 now. Um, from animal to human studies, uh, they come out by the day. And, you know, we're, you know, the, the, the bigger issue right now is how that relates to what we're seeing with respect to mandates. And, you know, I, I've had a touchstone for the last few years, which is not living in the West. I've been living in Japan. We had no shutdown here, even though, like I say, I I went on, or I, re I received a um, a heavy heavy dose and a terrible run in with the condition. Um, I don't th I don't think there's any need for the overstepping of. Uh, uh, public health officials into uh, domains where they don't belong. And, you know, we're, we're winning with respect to some some pushback, I would argue. Um, but there's also the issue of the more absurd take on SARS-CoV-2, the, the treatments, etc., that have sort of littered the internet as well. And, um, yeah, I've sort of sat, kind of walked the path through the middle and trying to get a, as clear a picture as possible for people to help them be fully informed. Fantastic. Fantastic. And, um, I wanted to talk about some of your experiments right off the bat because I've just been blown away 
how you're doing. You're actually taking it into your own hands. You're actually putting things under the scope, live streaming it all. And it's really amazing work. I need to go through your your website. It's McCarran Dojo for anybody who doesn't know. I put the link in the description. And um, you've just got so many great videos and, and uh, experiments on here. I need to go through and watch everything because you know, I, I guess you started putting out notifications. So I started seeing you going live again. Then I went back, I'm like, geez, I missed so much. Mm. Um, so I'm a member on the site, happy member. And you put out notifications, which tell me to come join you guys doing your live streams. So I'm thankful for that. But um, let's let's maybe ask you here about the experiments you've done. I've shared some of them on my channel, but I know you've done others. There was the blood experimentation that Dr. Fleming furthered with Mike Adams. Yeah. And there was also the just straight up looking at the contaminants mm. and the particles that are in the vaccines. And I wanted to ask you about you, you know your current understanding based on your research, what you think is going on with the vaccines. So uh, can you tell us a little bit about your experimentation? Yeah, so, you know, as... I was fortunate enough to be able to get my hands on uh, a bunch of Pfizer vaccine very early on and was able to put it under a microscope 